Jesus. Now you know, you know, you know, Peter said, for such as I have, give I thee. Now the, the, the epidemic of this Greek word, which literally means that you have a gift for someone else's benefit. Okay, okay, watch, watch, watch. You see, you've been messed up all this time because church. You have been thinking all this time and that what you got is for you. And can I tell you this? That's the reason why it hadn't increased. Right, right. Oh, it got quiet. All right. Because get this, it won't ever increase because you're trying to keep somebody else's stuff. Yeah. Listen, God didn't give it to you for you, but God gave it to you so that you can be a blessing yeah. to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Because the only way you and I are going to increase, you and I have to make room, and the only way you and I are going to have to make room, we got to learn to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, the reason why I'm giving away what I already got uh -huh. uh, is really uh, yeah, because we have a great motive, All right. and that motive is simply this: I know God uh -huh. will never let me out of going through certain things yeah. without setting me up for future blessings. All right. All right. And I give the stuff that I have to somebody else. Actually, God will give more to me. Yeah. And the truth of the matter is that the reason why I'm giving it up now is because you and I are going to receive it and hold on to what you got, but receive it from God and then give what you got to somebody else. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All right. Well, here's the final thing, and I'm going to see. All right. We're dealing with this thing about I got. What it takes. Uh -huh. Now, now I say this, and I hope I don't offend nobody. Go ahead. But, but God dropped it in my spirit. I tell our young ladies all the time back at New Bethel, uh -huh. and, and they wonder why, why I keep attracting the same joy. Uh -huh. Well. Casey, if we got somebody like that today, let me first tell you, hey amen, take you for sale, sign down. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's the first thing. Yeah. Number two, learn to raise up your standards. I said yeah. this on last night in the musical. You'll go spend 200 and some dollars on a dress. Yeah. 100 and some dollars on a hairdo. Get your hair and nails and toes and high heel pump chinches. You'll go to a $7 nightclub. I wish I had somebody. Right. Drop by a $5 a drink. I wish I talked somebody yeah. sit on a three dollar stool uh, yeah. and talk to a 25 cent negro yeah. and let me tell you here, God expect for you to have the best yeah. 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 Say that, say that. The negro yeah. running around here showing you his better, his lower hand yeah. is already telling you he ain't got respect for himself yeah. and that's not having any for you yeah. and excuse me right long here brother pastor cause I know we it ain't common to say these kind of things in yeah. church, but let me help you out for some young lady that's got some lazy Negro eating up all your food stamps. Let me tell you something. If he's good enough to sweat on top of you, he's sure enough good enough to sweat for you.
of saying and believing that you've got what it takes. Say that. It not only do I find in the text All right. that you and I should not let what we don't have hinder us from using what we do have. Right. And not only do I see in the text here, uh, that, 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 that we ought to use what we do have. Uh -huh. But then finally I see in the text, which is most importantly, and that is what you have is far much better than what you don't have. Right. 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 Somebody didn't get that. You didn't, you didn't get that. Now watch this, watch this. And, and, and I just see this because I'm still right there in the text. Uh -huh. Look, Peter and John said, we don't have any money. But man, we got something better. Yeah. Right. Are you ready for it? Okay, here it is. And make sure you don't miss it. Because the last part of the verse says, Peter told the lame man, watch this, uh -huh. in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. of Nazareth, uh -huh. rise up yeah. and walk. Now listen to me. They don't have Jesus in fleshly terms, but the same Jesus equipped them so that all they had was just his name. Uh -huh. They didn't need the person, they just needed the position, uh, the personality, and the power. Listen, they didn't have something what the lame man wanted, but the preachers had what the lame man needed. Yeah. Because what the lame man wanted, get this, what the lame man wanted could help him momentarily, but what they was willing to give him could help him eternally. I wish somebody was talking back to me right here. And what the lame man wanted could help him get a meal. But what the man needed could help him get a home. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. And you need to understand, tell your neighbor, listen, I got yeah. what it takes. Yeah. What he wanted All right. would bring him back to the gate in the morning. Right. Uh, but what he needed would get him inside the church the very same day. Yeah. What he wanted would have kept him laying out there. But what he needed would get him up. So as I prepare clothes in my seclusion, uh -huh. I need to say that sometimes we get it messed up. That's right, that's right. Because you and I don't really need what we think we need. All right, all right. But what we need, what God has in store for us. And what we really need when it all boils down to it, all you and I simply really need is Jesus. And that's why the songwriter said, as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Because having Jesus is enough. And so you know what Peter and John told this man, and that was Peter told this man to rise up, meaning get up. Now, in the Greek, this word rise refers to the word in rego, which simply means to move from a dead level uh -huh. to a living level. Right. It means to be recalled from the dead. Yeah. And if I had time, I would stay around that area. A man at one point in his life already, but for some reason or another, this man died mentally, died somewhere along the way, and this man had to be recalled from the mental and spiritual dead cemetery. And that causes me to tell you this, and that is not only can you and I die a physical death, but but if you and I are not careful, we can end up dying mentally and spiritually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So listen, uh, I'll probably leave you too many. Uh, brothers and sisters, we want the Lord to leave our trouble. But sometimes our trouble won't leave us. But the good thing to report is that God will give you and me the power to deal with the trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So, as I bid you good evening, uh -huh. if you got what it takes, uh -huh. simply because you got Jesus. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. All right, really. If you have, if you have, if you have, yeah. uh, in trouble, you got uh -huh. what it takes. Yeah. 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 yeah, go ahead. If you got burdens, uh -huh. then you got what it takes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen, if you got problems uh, on the job.